Super Air Meter has made an improvement to the meter, making it easier to dial in the desired pressures by replacing the pop valve with a needle valve behind the SAM gauge. If you have an older Super Air Meter with a pop-off valve and want to install the improved needle valve, simply follow these steps to replace the pop valve with a new needle valve available at superairmeter.com. You will need one 11 16th open-ended wrench, one crescent wrench, and a roll of Teflon tape. Remove the old pop-off valve from the back of the brass elbow using the 11 16th inch wrench and backing it up with a crescent wrench to prevent movement of the lower brass piece. After the pop-off valve is removed, remove the SAM gauge and brass elbow below the SAM gauge using the 11 16 inch wrench, backing it up with the crescent wrench. Cover the male end of the brass elbow with the SAM gauge on it and the male end of the new needle valve, both with Teflon tape. Screw the new needle valve onto the brass elbow where the pop valve used to be. Make it sit at a 90 degree angle to the elbow and gauge and fit snugly. Now replace the elbow with the SAM gauge and needle valve on it back onto the brass fitting that it came out of on the top of the chamber. Once it's screwed on and snug, using the wrenches, turn it on and zero the gauge. Turn the meter onto PSI mode and inflate the top chamber to 45 PSI and let it sit for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, if the pressure's still right around 45, then you know the top chamber is not leaking and you've installed it correctly. After the valve has been changed and you're sure the meter's not leaking, you should recalibrate the super air meter before you perform any tests.